Good Tuesday morning to everybody. Uh, it's time for ISCIC Midnight Overview. Um, take a look at another five titles that uh, that I've watched from my collection. Uh, the movies that I have uh, reviewed on the blog, I will put links up in the description box so you can take a look at it. Uh, if not, uh, there won't be. And that'll be it. So let's get going with uh, one of the most frustrating movies that I watched from my I from IFC Midnight, and that's Pie Wacket. Now, when this came out, I was really excited to to get it. I was really excited, and I, and uh, I would actually go down to my video store and ask them or call them, ask them when they were able to sell it. And so f when they finally called me and said, "Hey, we can sell it to you now," um, I raced on down there and I bought it. And in a weird twist I actually went home and watched it right away which that isn't always the case <laughs> those are my IC movies on the shelf there in the middle and I haven't watched them yet and don't ask me why it's not I don't know how why my brain's wired that way but I did watch this one because it had Lori Holden in it and I'm a tremendous fan of hers um but it was frustrating to watch they never show the creature they showed a far away shot for about five seconds, and that was it. Totally frustrating. Built all that build up for nothing. So this was a, one of the more frustrating movies. Like I said, I, I I got and I watched. I loved the acting. The acting was great. Can't can't fault that at all. But the lack of the creature just really sank this movie. That's pie whack it. And we did review it on the blog, so I'll provide a link. Next up is. The Face of Love, and this stars Annette Benning and Ed Harris. And this was a really sad and trippy movie. Uh, Annette Benning uh, plays a, a, a woman whose husband has died. And while she's mourning him and getting on with her life the best she can, she stumbles across a man who could be her, her dead husband's twin. And she initiates a, a interaction with him, and they start seeing each other. Um, he doesn't know it. He doesn't know about her death husband or or the resemblance. Um, it's a really sad move because she loves him for all the wrong reasons, and it causes a lot of stress for her family, especially when her daughter shows up to check on her mom. And meets the man who could be a spitting image of her dad. Her dead dad. So things don't always go so well there. And then when he finds out what's going on. Uh, the man. When he finds out. Ed Harris finds out what's going on. He's shocked. And a little bit sickened at it actually. Um, this is from IFC Films. And it's a good movie. It's, this is a very good movie. It's very moving. And it speaks a lot about loss and grief. And, um, and sometimes the, the weird things, the weird, the weird places life takes you. So this is the, the face of love. All right, this is a five to seven. I absolutely love this movie. Um, this is a brilliant movie. One of my very favorites. And one of the most bittersweet because it has Anton Yel Yelchin in it. Uh, who you know from various other movies like The Green Room and and, uh, and Star Trek and whatnot. But he, he plays the lead here. Uh, he meets a young man who meets this, uh, uh, this older married woman and who's very French and he initiates an affair. And the affair has its guidelines and rules. And, um, and how he goes about it and how they go about it is, 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 is a really great character study. Um, great performances, too. Uh, Bernanice Marholi. Marholi, I think? Marholi? Uh, she, she starred in The Artist. And Lambert Wilson, who uh, played, the, uh, played in The Matrix. And uh, Oliver Thurlby and Frank Lagella, who played with uh, Dracula. Um, so this is a great movie, one of my very favorites. Um, real tragedy that uh, Anton Yelchin died at only 27. He was killed when his car rolled on him and trapped him, trapped him in the garage. Um, 
definitely can see where he could have been a, a romantic lead in the future. This is like one of his first leading roles. And uh, as far as his goal, as far as like an adult role goes, and uh, he was really, really good. He was really special, and I'm really sad to see him pass. But this is 5 to 7. If you get a chance to get it, highly recommend so. Re highly recommend that you do so. Okay, this is Cold in July. Now, last video I said that the movie that got me into IFC was A Perfect Day. And this is the movie that got my buddy Catfish into becoming an a IFC fanatic as well. Uh, went over to his crib and we uh, we watched a couple of movies and I, sh I brought this over to watch. And uh, by the time the movie was like halfway over, he was already buying it off of eBay. <laughs> Which is a real compliment because this is an awesome movie. It shows the IFC. Uh, it's just an amazing film company. They put out some of the best movies. And Cold July is one of them. It is, this is a really good movie. Powerful. Um, and not for the light of heart, that's for sure. Um, stars uh, Sam Shepard and Michael C. Hall from Dexter. And Don Johnson, who, uh, um, who's, uh, who's done really well. You might remember Don Johnson from, of course, from Tin Cup or uh, Miami Vice or The Book Club. Um Anyway, this is a great movie. It's a crime drama. Uh, I don't want to reveal any anything of it because uh, you should really see it. You should really go out there and get this if you can. Uh, this is Cold in July. Okay, last but not least, uh, A Case of You. Now, this is one of those movies that uh, I really liked quite a bit. I did. I had some great performances in it. I had... Um, Justin Long from uh, 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 Jeepers Creepers, and Evan uh, uh, Evan Rachel Wood from uh, Westworld, of course the mighty uh, Tyron, uh, uh, Peter Dinklage, and uh, Rick O'Connell, the Mummy. So it's a great cast. Uh, it's fun until like the last fifteen minutes. The last fifteen minutes just it just fell apart. I, I don't I can't explain it. It's it was such a good movie, and the last 15 minutes, it just, I was like a house of cards. It just went to shit. Um, left me just sitting there looking at the screen going like, w what happened to this good movie? Um, it was a good movie. Uh, just the ending was just, I don't know, just, it went cockeyed. But uh, good performances. Have, have to still recommend it. Um uh, the good performances were for the latter three. Justin Long, I don't know. He just, it was like he, he, he just popped up in the last scene and he just went to a different place, a different movie. And the director um, never reined him in. Um, I don't know if he didn't look at the dailies or what, but it was like he showed up and he, he shot an entirely different movie for the last scene. Weird, weird ending. Uh, this is a romantic comedy, of course. Uh, it's cute. Um, and like I said, it's good performances. Um, but uh, that ending, I, I, ooh, weird. Well, anyway, that's a case of you. Oh, pictures in the back there. All right, well, that's a quick five. So I'll end this, end this now, and uh, get this up and running. And uh, if you've seen any of these, um, leave a comment. If you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button and uh, smash that bell. Um, if you're an ISC nut like I am, um, let me know. You know, uh, let me know that you review uh, ISC movies or whatnot, and I'll come over and take a look at your page as well. All right. Well, thank you so much for listening, and I'll see you on the bounce. Until then, peace.